Hi friends, this project is Bugatti SC57 Atlantic, 3D printed at 1 to 16 scale, remote control ready. This is 3D Shamrock channel and my name is Florin. I designed the model in Fusion 360. Then I 3D printed the necessary parts. And here are the parts. The servo motor for the steering. The drive motor. The bearings I use for the wheels. Bolts, nuts. And for the track rod and drag link, I used welding wire, one millimeter steel welding wire. And these are the 3D printing parts, the outer wing, the inner wing, the hood, the radiator, the main body shell, the front axle, the stab axles, the bearing fixing parts, the rim, the front chassis and the rear chassis, the links, the bearing cover, the drive shaft, the rear rims, the rim cover and the tires. I designed some small holes in the parts which should be assembled together. In which I will insert small pieces of filament in order to align the parts perfectly. And I assemble the parts using glue. I designed also two protrusions in the wing to be able to align it with the recesses in the hood. And this is how the parts looks like after aligning and fixing with glue. I assembled the front lights with glue 
and then I fix together the body assemblies with two bolts. I assemble the front axle with glue on the front chassis. Then I drill two small holes for the servo motor. which I fix it with the provided screws. Then I fitted the rims into the front tires. I fitted the bearings in the rims and I secured it with the snap ring. Then I inserted the stub axle and I secured it to the bearing with the hub cap and the nut. Then I fitted the rim cap. I assembled easy the steering parts, the track rod and drag link. And I assembled the stub axles on the front axle with bolts. This is how the steering works. After assembling the rear wheels, the drive shafts and the bearings, I inserted the wheel assembly in the electric motor, in the drive motor, and then I assembled the rear transmission onto the rear chassis. I secured the electric motor onto the rear chassis with two bolts and nuts. Then I assembled the front and the rear chassis together with the links. Then I fitted the body onto the chassis with six bolts. And finally, I fitted the radiator using glue. That's it my friends in today's video, if you like it, please like, share and subscribe. I will soon upload this model on uh, my mini factory 3D Shamrock library. See you soon with another project.